Hello everyone out there, I'm Trinity with um, Zelly Music Publishing and Slam Jams Records. Today we're going to talk about side chaining and we're going to use a kick drum to control the bass line's dynamics. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to use a group channel. Going to go to our project, add track, and group channel. And we're going to select quadro as our channel configuration. We're going to scroll down to the more menu and then scroll to the top until we see quadro. And that's our choice. Once our quadro track or our group channel is set up with the quadro configuration, we're going to pull up our our edit settings, which is the channel strip of that group channel. And if we look at the panner area of the quadro group channel, you'll see two boxes. Double click on those boxes and you'll see the quadro configuration, the input configuration, which is a front or a left, left front and a right front and a left surround and right surround or left rear, right rear. In this case, it's not relative to surround in the traditional sense, being that it's routed to a stereo output configuration. So we're using this to eliminate the need for any extra child buses. So that is the purpose of using this quadro track. So you close this out. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to set up a plugin on this channel since we're here. We're going to use the compadre. And then we're going to press our key in. What our key in is going to do is allow our threshold to be controlled from another source as opposed to the group channel that's feeding the compressor. So we're going to close this out and we're going to close our channel strip out. Now we're going to go to our baseline and we're going to route our baseline directly into the input of our group channel. And now we get the same surround panner. We double click on the panner of this group channel, I'm sorry, of this baseline track. We double click it and then we change the stereo image to reflect left and right stereo using the surround panner. And you place the balls here where the left is on the left and the right is on the right. And this is your front, you know, your left front, right front. Close this out. You can close this out here. Now what we're going to do is go to the kick drum and we're going to use a send. And this send here is going to be group one. I want to turn the sin on and make sure that we're at the zero mark here. If not, then you can type it in, you know, zero. And then we're going to change our view to the sin routing view so that we can see our routing scheme. And if you notice, you'll have a little panner here. You double click on this panner, and we're going to change our mode to stereo again, or Y mirror. And then we're going to take our left and right access points here, or these little balls, and place them on the left, left surround and right surround. And this is relative to the key in function of our compadre plugin. When we press the key in, it allows to access whatever is on this left surround and right surround and effectively compress the signal based on whatever signal is coming here. So in this case, it's going to be our kick drum track. So this is going to allow us to control the bass line's dynamics based on, based on the presence of a kick drum. So when we pull this up, we're going to pull up our dynamics here. Then we can play back. Now as you can see, the kick drum is actually controlling how much dynamics is being fed to that bass track. And the bass line is essentially ducking. And that's pretty much how side chaining works, at least in this example, with Nuendo. Um, being that we use this group channel, which is a quadro track, there is no need to have any extra child buses. And pretty much that's it. That's the end of this tutorial because, frankly, I need to eat. So, see you guys later. Have a great day.